Welcome back with Baking with your Toddler. Today we are going to make rhubarb strudel muffins. Are you guys ready to bake with Grandma? Yeah! This here is the top of our streusel. So it's kind of like the crumble that'll go on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and melt these. It's three tablespoons. This part here is for the cake. So we are the, the muffins itself. Wait, wait, wait. So we are gonna have her unwrap, which she's getting really good at unwrapping, and we'll also be melting this as well. So, in this bag I just put in some rhubarb, chopped up, so this way he has the crinkly sounds and a little bit of the sensory, so he can play with this here while Sissy is hey. stirring up your stuff. Uh. Yeah, you gotta stir it all up. And then, we'll go ahead and we'll add in, uh. we got a fourth of a cup of all-purpose brown, or all-purpose, brown sugar. No. Do it. Oh, no. You gotta put it in this bowl with this one. Oh, 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 over the bowl, over the bowl. There. And then we have a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And now we're just gonna mix that in until it's a crumbly. Preheat our oven to 400 degrees. Um, little tin cups here, so we're gonna give this to him, and he can play with the spoon. All right, so now we're gonna start in with the diced rhubarb, and we got three tablespoons of brown sugar. We're gonna add to that. Yeah. I'm seeing exact measurement here for you. That's two and a half cups of diced rhubarb with three tablespoons of brown sugar. I should go ahead and mix that up. Yes. Yep, just kind of crunch it all together. That'll make the rhubarb kind of sweeter. Gentle, gentle, just stir. Good job. So now you can kind of see she's got it pretty mixed in. Those are the big chunks of the brown sugar are mixed in and broken down. So we're going to set that to the side. And next we're going to have her mix the flour. And this is basically all of our dry, measured out everything. It's very important to measure everything out. But this is like our one teaspoon of cinnamon, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and a tablespoon of baking powder mixed with three cups of all-purpose flour. The seasoning cups, it has a smell of cinnamon and salts and different things. And even if he were to put them in his mouth, he gets to taste, smell, more sensory stuff. So. Not to mention we like the sound of it. Yeah! Okay, now that this is all mixed in pretty good, and by doing this here, you'll you'll spread out your flavoring so you don't end up eating a muffin and you all of a sudden you got a clump of cinnamon or something in there. Now we are gonna take our sugar and our stick of butter, and we're gonna mix them together. <gasps> Careful, Miss Mary. Good job. That's a full stick of butter, and oops, that's our vanilla. She's adding in, and then she's gonna mix it. Yeah, yeah. So 
we put a little bit of the flour separate from what we measured. I just went and got some more and put it in a bowl so he can play with that a little bit. It'll be a little messy, but by doing this here, he can t feel the texture and he can also taste it. It won't taste good, but it'll give him a little bit of a sensory. Not the best, is it, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so with Miss MJ here, don't eat the stuff though, okay? Why? We are gonna do an egg. You don't like to crack eggs, do you? Yeah. Oh, okay, there you go. We're gonna crack it into this bowl. She's pretty well got that all stirred. We broke our two eggs in here. Now, to scrape it out. We're all scraped out, good job. Okay. So it's our two eggs mixed in with it. And we got a fourth of a cup of milk. And you can use almond milk, regular milk, whatever you want. Good job. All right, and then we got one cup here. Let Grandma use this. One, one cup of no. Greek yogurt or sour cream. It doesn't matter which one you want to use. I okay. to try it. Not the yummiest, but oh, you do like it, okay? Well, let's keep scraping them because otherwise our recipe's going to get off, huh? Here, here. Can you scrape that all out? I'm tired. <laughs> You are still hungry, aren't you? I got whipped cream. It's not whipped cream, it's, that's Greek yogurt. Plain Greek yogurt. But Grandma's glad you like it, that's good for you. Okay, can you mix it all together now? Mix it up. Yeah, use this here, mix it. No! <laughs> It'll be a little less yogurt than this. All right. Mix smooth. And we've got our mixture of the flour, so we're gonna slowly start stirring the flour into your wet ingredient. What? <laughs> okay, so we were tasting the flour and at first we thought it was yummy, but apparently now we've decided not so yummy. <laughs> yeah. Take. And this here is our mixture of brown sugar with the cut up rhubarb. So we're going to go ahead and mix that with our batter. Separate them and put one in each. So as she's doing this part, we're gonna give him some of the cupcakes to play with. And some sprinkles, just anything that makes sound or... All right, so we'll try. I think this is gonna make a lot more than 12. I said 12 to 14 muffins, but I got a feeling it's gonna be long. Okay, scooch. No, Miss Mary. Let's 
see, MJ and I went ahead and filled up these muffin tins. So we are going to go ahead and pop it in the oven. And meanwhile, I'm going to set little man down. He's playing with his sprinkles right now, just nibbling on little sprinkles of hearts Emma. and circles. Emma. Huh. Okay, so we're going to set him down and we'll go ahead and put it in the oven. So we have it, this here is on speed bake, remember, but normally you'd have it on 400. If you're doing speed bake, 390 for five minutes. At that point, at that point we will be turning it down to 350 and then we'll do it for another 12 to 15 minutes and they'll be done. So this here is our topping strudel crumbs. So we're going to just put a spoonful on, a little bit on each, like that. Alright, so we did 5 minutes at 400, and then we did 12 minutes, I always go with the lesser of the time, for 350 degrees. And then you just take a toothpick, stick it in, pull it out, and it's clean. How is it? You're pretty good? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I me. Mean. Oh, no. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. That's how milk. With chocolate milk, it would be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> Is Grandma not eating it to you quick enough? Grandma not eating it to you. Grandma! Goodness gracious. I think he likes it. You too, huh? Uh huh. So this is a keeper for a recipe. Say, see you next time. Bye. Bye. Can you say bye? Say bye. <laughs>